Assalamu alaikum dear friends I am engineer Saifullah and you are watching civil engineer at site youtube channel so guys today we will discuss uh, different topics about Saudi Arabia job market salary market and many more about visas that which visa is best for experienced engineer and for um, fresh graduates so let's start before starting the video kindly subscribe to our youtube channel like the video and share it with your friends first of all we will discuss about the job market guys as you know that nowadays every engineer wants to come to saudi arabia to start his career and there is a reason the reason is that, that there are several mega projects started in saudi arabia like neon city and already work is uh, going on in four uh, districts of Neom, like Lion City, Trojina, Hexagon, Sindal Island, and like Morabba project in Riyadh City, downtown projects in the Jeddah, and many more. So now we will discuss how is the job market in Saudi Arabia nowadays. This is the first thing. Guys, if I told you that the job market is not good, so maybe you will be not agree with me, but the I will explain it, why it's not good nowadays. There are a lot of jobs and opportunities for engineers, but for which engineers, this is the thing, you have to know about that. If you have experience of five years or more than five years, so it is a good idea to come to Saudi Arabia but if you are a fresh graduate and you have a one or two year experience and you are coming to Saudi Arabia on Azad visa or any other visa so I think uh, it's not a good idea to start your career because here you will face a lot of problems what unemployment who will support you here who will accommodate you here so these are the things you should think about there now, if you have one year or two year experience and if you are living in Pakistan or India, especially in Pakistan and you are jobless there and so what you have to do? I will advise that you have to get some safety certification like Nibosh, OSHA. Most important is Nibosh. This is a basic qualification. And the second thing when you get that certificate you have to apply in local recruitment agencies in Pakistan or India who are hiring for Saudi Arabia never think to come to Saudi Arabia with a Azad visa or freelancing visa whatever you call it because whenever you come here minimum minimum you have to pay unemployment for six to seven or maybe one year you have to pay that employment unemployment at and if you have uh, no proper support here, financial support, who will accommodate you here, so you will be in the depression and maybe you will lose all of your energy. So the good thing there, try to search a job in the local recruitment agencies there. No issue if you get it on one, two months, three months, four months, five months, six months, no issue for that. Huh, but if you have five year experience or more than five year experience, so you can come to Saudi Arabia on any visa, whatever you want. Why? Maybe that situation you will also face some problems, but at the end of the day, you will get your job. No issue if, if it's a small company or a big company, but so summary up the topic that the job market is good for experienced people experienced people job market is good for only for the experienced people who have uh, who has a five year experience or more than five year experience if your experience is one or two years so never think to come to saudi arabia on freelancing visas now the second thing is the salary how is the salary in the saudi arabia it depends on the city if you are working in the Niyam, it will be different. If you are working in Aramco, it will be different. If you are working in Riyadh or 
जिद इट विल बी डिफरेंट बट द थिंग वी विल डिस्कस फर्स्ट अबाउट द नियम इफ यू हैव द रिक्वायर्ड एक्सपीरियंस एंड नॉलेज सो यू कैन कम एंड यू कैन जॉइन एनी कंपनी इन द नियम वेन एवर दे हैव द अपॉर्चुनिटीज एंड यू आर एलिजिबल फॉर दैट अपॉर्चुनिटीज and your experience is matching to that uh, their requirements you can go there so what will be your expectation if your experience is 5 years minimum your expectation should be 10000 minimum as a kvk engineer per site engineer is also at 10000 per planning from 7 to 8000 like that this is a general idea maybe it depends also on the companies on the consultant and and the client but this is a just just a general idea for safety it should be a salary should be from 6 to 8 uh, 8000 riyals okay guys and if you are working in uh, riyadh with the same experience so you can get a 6000 5000 6500 7000 per kvk engineer vice versa and the aramco and the salaries of aramco and uh, niam are uh, you can say that near to each other but in aramco you need some approvals and you can you will get that approvals not easily as in the niam because in the niam a huge mega construction is going on and they are just need the people who can start their career who can do the work they will not ask for more many more things in the aramco they need professional and full eligible people for their construction projects if you are going to join any construction company in the aramco so you have to as a qq person you have to go proper approval for 3 months after that you have to go for cbt test cbt mean computer based test but in the niam when you join any company you have to just go for a client interview when you pass that interview it mean you get the aramco approval that's all now i just uh, i have give you given you the idea about the selling market now the third thing is which visa is best for the engineer if your experience is less than 5 years abibi never come on the azad or freelancing visa try to get a job visa agreement visa and from where you will get it you will get it from any recruitment agencies in your country who are hiring for the uh, companies in ksa but if your experience is more than Five years, then you can think about the Azad visa or freelancing visa. How you will get it? There is, and the other thing, there is no Azad visa. This is illegal, hundred percent illegal. But the people are using these words, so I just want to explain about you. But our Azad visa is hundred percent illegal, and in Saudi Arabia, whenever you caught it by the. police of saudi arabia so you have to face some huge penalties then for uh, all of your life and maybe some imprisonment so guys if you have any question about the job market salary and about the visa you can ask in the comment section you can contact me through my linkedin through instagram instagram is easy as compared to linkedin because in linkedin a lot of people are messaging me so that's why i can't respond them properly so you can contact me through instagram or facebook messenger and like the video share it with your friend thank you so much for watching